Welcome to the James Wilowitz Central High School here in DeWitt, New York for the biggest regular season game of the year. That's right, it's the fourth annual Hoops for Courage game. An extremely hot match. This roof is going to burn up. You know, sometimes they talk about big fight feel before something like a boxing match. And this certainly has a Tyson Holyfield energy to it, doesn't it? And rebounding will be a key throughout this entire game. Physical still gets the end one. Jim Kilpatrick pleading his case to the referee, but it falls on deaf ears, or perhaps he just can't hear him because this gym is very loud. Just over a minute left in the first quarter. Ian Delpha finds nothing but net. Ten seconds on the shot clock for Ian Delpha. Stickle swims through the block and sinks the bucket. That was a thing of beauty. But now it's the Spartans who are on the move. Tristan Henderson has a little bit of patience, and it brings him a bucket. Scalinger shakes his men, shakes a few, gets very close, and close enough to put up his first two of the night. A press employed by ESM pokes out the ball, Stickle dives to keep it alive. Koberger weaves through two and finds the basket. It is like the basket is magnetic, and Koberger is a man of steel. Got to give them something to cheer about and give them amped up. A big three here from JD would really seal the deal. Delpha Bates, he's got all the time in the world. Yuzman Kalkin on the run. And the breakaway layup is good. Koberger decides against the jumper, gets a little bit closer, and with good reason. That's 16 points, and that's a timeout taken by East Syracuse Manoa. They're just a rival that you play a lot and you want to beat. And two points from Brendan Koberger will certainly help with that goal up to 18. The Red Rams only won by three earlier in this season. Oh, what a block from Ben Skellinger, putting the kibosh on those plans. Oh, my goodness. Ben Skellinger out of nowhere. With some stank. Henderson goes to the line. I don't think they care. Keeler shakes Graham out of his shoes. Oh, he's going to need some new Jordans. To Graham, back to Abreu. Pass Bates, not past Koberger. A brick wall in his face. By the way, while we've got you all here, don't forget, as Mr. Goodson's getting a call over the PA system, got lots of good things coming your way here on JDTV. That was a foul, but honestly, with Mr. Goodson's phone is going nuts right now. Mr. Goodson, our athletic director, doesn't understand technology. You have to be imagining that the referees aren't happy about that because that's disruption of play. I mean, don't get us wrong. We love Mr. Goodson. He's a great AD. Just, Absolutely. Just, I had to show him how to get to his email the other day. That's all it is. Three-pointer with a hand in his face. Aiden Betts puts up a big three. Yeah, and you can hear Coach Ike telling his players, patience, get a smart shot. Was it smart or just skill or 100% concentrated power of will from Anthony Stickle? But I think it's the funniest thing that here's Jeff Ike, a high school basketball coach who can just casually drop into conversation. Yeah, I talked to Jim the other day. Yeah, Jim who? Oh, Jim Beheim. That's a flex that not many people have. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the suit of assistant coach John Barlow right now in the 1970s drip? Oh, you got to give him a fit check. It says this fit came out of the Sears catalog. Koberger, no three, getting closer, doesn't have to take the low percentage shots when he can make shots like that. And you know what, Mr. Goodson's phone going off kind of sounded like an appropriate sound effect for that. And that is all she wrote. And there goes the flock. No one's going to be shepherding them back to their seats, not after a win like this.